I'm thinking about this new job you have as the White House correspondent for the news hour, and I think this president's different. Being a White House correspondent itself is not the job it once was. There's a conversation now about whether access journalism or being that close to power necessarily produces good reporting, or if you would be better off in Houston and Galveston talking to day laborers about climate change. Is journalism better done on the ground where it affects people's lives, or is being in that room necessarily productive? Do you have a point of view about that? I was thinking about that because I... I left the New York Times, which is an amazing job, and it right. was like a dream job for other people to come to a place that is another dream place for people, which is PBS but NewsHour. Di but different. But different. Um, but I thought to myself, the presence of that room, I'm the only person, or one of the only people maybe, that has an Afro sitting in the presence of Sarah Sanders, who she has to look at and ask, answer questions to. I think that there's, I yeah. was very inspired by Gwen Eiffel just by her presence. Right. And my presence, I think, means something to people um, in that room. But the other thing is, I like PBS and for what they've told me the job is going to be, because they said part of your job is going to be going out into the country and telling stories about people, right. talking to people, asking yourselves, what are these policies? mean. If he says something at the State of the Union, like black unemployment is so amazingly low and African Americans are doing so great. Okay, let's go talk to the black people that live in Detroit and see how great their lives are. So there, I think that's part of the job. And if you're a White House correspondent, I think you have to be out in the community. You can't and be wedded to that I room. I don't think you can be wedded to that room.